Well, here's a little update on the rain gutter garden. Things are, uh, you know, what the heck is it, 28th, 29th of uh, August, almost 1st of September. Now things are winding down, you know. Uh, geez, I picked a ton of green beans. These green beans grown in these little buckets have grown like crazy. I got a ton of cucumbers coming on. All these, uh, I planted these from seeds in the little buckets. You can see the buckets are not very big, three plants to a thing, and they're just going nuts. Strawberries, ever bearing strawberries are blooming like crazy. And everything else, the squash plants are finally starting to die off a little, but they've created some monster squash. You can see, nice looking squash on one there. Another one over here. Here's uh, I love these babies. Crimson sweet watermelon. I got three nice ones right there. I got a bunch more. There's more squash over there. Here is uh, it's dying off, but it's coming back. Here's my uh, Athena um, cantaloupe. And here's a nice one over here. Real nice one. There's a dandy. That one's starting to get a nice skin on the outside, so it's going to be too long. There's my sugar baby. A nice big sugar baby. But I've been pretty happy with how things turned out. I'm going to do some tips and tricks on different things on this rain gutter grow system here in the next few days. On how I planted, what I did in each pot, you know, how I did it. Some little tricks. Uh, my mixture I use for mixing up stuff and you know help people out who we'll want to know some tricks uh, my buddy told me Tommy he says uh, don't when you cut your broccoli head off don't cut the plant down and I can see why now I mean I look see all oh, the little heads you started adding them all up you almost get as much as another head if you leave them grow they keep sprouting so uh, I've been doing that, and I got more over in the other garden, and I've been getting those. The peas are about wound down. They're even getting a little milky kind of blight thing, you know. But there's a few. I'm still watering them because there's still some peas left. Them. I've got. There are a lot of work peas. I mean, you got to have a lot of them to get get stuff out of them, you know. Here's another really nice crimson sweet watermelon. And these plants over here, you know, they got that septoria leaf disease, and I'm going to treat it next year. But I wanted to leave it organic, and I got tons of tons of uh, tomatoes. So if you put on it the serenade early, I guess it's all organic. The bacteria it prevents this, and I didn't want to use copper sulfide or any of that kind of crap. So I want to leave it all organic. So I got tons of tomatoes. So I'll leave that. Uh, cucumber plant, this old cucumber plant has just put out and put out and put out. I have picked more cucumbers and there's more there. There's one, there's one, there's one. I mean, there's, I've been picking cucumbers off this like crazy. Squash over here is making squash. There's some squash in there. So, you know, it's, it's been, been a good year. There's more squash down there. There's three of them right in a row. Bang, bang, bang. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to do some updates on different containers I use, how I planted them, and all that. So, uh, anyway, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.